want to force him here. I just want to sit back and listen. Talk us through your takes watching from the stands, guys, and yeah. talk a lot about yourself. Uh, half time, you went to a free up top. It looked like you went Foxy Akinde on through the middle, and it seemed to be a real threat. Got the goal, and then with the Bloomfield injury, that momentum then killed what could have been you getting the ball back and then getting right. And do you feel that made a difference? Well, firstly, you never want to see a, a, a player go down and be injured, and it, was a, it looked like a horrible injury. Yeah. It was a it was, a, it was a crazy goal. He's actually up and about. He's, yeah. he's walking about, so think, we're OK, yeah, but a, fingers crossed he'll be all right. Good. Well, we obviously wish him, wish him well. Thank you, thank you. Um, I, I thought it was a crazy game, to be honest. I, I, I don't think the goal, our goal should have been allowed. Like, there's two players playing mm. dead in the ten six yard box. It's mm. just it's a crazy goal. I thought maybe their second goal shouldn't be this shouldn't be allowed for, for a foul in the near post. But listen, it, um, it was... Um, it was a roller coaster of a game. How big, how big a difference is it for you guys? You both got promoted from. How big a difference is it, or haven't you realised that? There's a step. There's a big step on it. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if Danny's going to agree with me, but I think there's a lot more football played at this level. Some of the teams, some of the stature you go to, you know, um, you watch a League Two game on TV, and I think you can almost see. It. And, and no disrespect, at the, at, mm. in the second half, at times it was a little bit long ball. It was a little bit battle. But I think the step up now, the quality you have to have on the ball is a, is a step. And, and wow, the next level is something else as well. Mm. So you've been there. But um, th this, is a, this is a step, I, I think, Dan, you know, from... Yeah, I think you're right. It is a big step. Although I would say that Wickham are probably the best team we've played this season. Frustrating day. Hard to concentrate this week, even on my way here. You know, you know, I'm getting my updates saying and not, you know, the, the Huddersfield job odds are slashed again. You know, they're going out there. Has it been hard for you this week? I mean, being linked with this no, and the other? No, no, because we're, we're really focused on the football and we'll let everybody else talk. Um, some of it is out of your control anyway. For us, we've, we've been in every day working really hard and we've, um, you know, we've had a really busy start. That's our 10th game in 34 days. Yeah. Um, and, and, and as I said, we, were, we, we look tired today physically and mentally and yeah. we'll... Um, we dust ourselves off and we have a, have a big game next week against Bristol Rovers. The reason why I bring it up, because Gar said to me, if you don't want the Huddersfield job, he'll take it. You know, am I allowed to say that on camera? He was just saying no, before. No, my chairman here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not surprised Danny's been linked, you know. Um, he's done a fantastic job at Lincoln, a club that my heart's there, you know, I had two great years there and really kick-started my playing career. So it's fantastic when the club that you played for does so well and it's down to this man. So fair play, Dan, and uh, all the best with everything. And as we bro. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, thanks for coming out and chatting. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Day. Pleasure. Gareth, I know there's something that you really want to Pleasure. say right now, Sorry, but you're not allowed to say it because we haven't seen the other games. So say absolutely nothing.